most students and youth, summer means leisure. It's time off from school and all of the stress that comes with it. Of course, there are many things to do during the summer, but our guest for this episode of Generation Batkirl takes full advantage of this time to just relax. Once school and work start back up again, there won't be many chances for him to unwind. Let's visit the home of this 22-year-old to find out what it means to truly relax during the summer. Hi, how are you? Hey guys. Welcome to my house. Uh, my name is Bakirit. You're going to take a brief moment of my life. And I look like a mess because I just recently woke up. So I think I might need to drink a little water so that my eye puffiness could go down a little bit. Uh, I recently graduated National University of Mongolia. I'm, I'm 22 years old at that at this moment right now. <laughs> okay, let me introduce my home briefly. Um, first of all, this is my living room. And this is the couch where all the magic starts when my mom passes out. Uh, this is the TV that we watch, of course. What would <laughs> And this is the treadmill that we never use at all. As you can see, this is very dusty and needs to be used. And this is my mother and sister's room. Hey, boo! Thank <laughs> you! And this is my room. It's the most important part of my house. And I spend the uh, a million hours of of the day in here if that's even possible and yeah okay, so, so who do you live with and I live with my mother and sister little sister uh, she looks very older than me though no offense what are your hobbies I like to try new things you know I like to craft little things, miniature things, and I love doing that. And I love to dance, I love to sing. When I'm home, at home alone, of course. And I like to draw, and I love to cook, and I love to bake uh, Cupcakes, special with brownies. I, I love chocolate gooey things. Speaking of brownies, you'll be hearing a whole lot more about brownies throughout the program. I love I love to mess up and I don't like to clean it after all. Maybe my mother and sister should do that. What were you like when you were little? My childhood was, was very messy it was catastrophe since i was a little child maybe uh, i was seven or around eight my father mm, got an idea to you know support us financially so he wanted to work in abroad in korea did you know that mongolia and south korea established diplomatic relations on march 26 1990 Mongolians in South Korea form the largest population of Mongolian citizens living abroad. The number of Mongolians in South Korea is currently estimated at 40,000. Uh, and then my mother left us behind to me and my sister. She wanted to, you know, support us also. So she wanted to, you know, get a professor's degree in Korea that, you know, to upgrade her major a little bit. I would cry a lot because my parents were not beside us and my sister would cry constantly too. She would wet her bed too and we were having a very tough time. Their parents were in Korea for about a decade. His father worked in Korea for about 11 to 13 years and his mother studied and worked in Korea for eight years. And uh, at that time, uh, my nephew, my aunt, was 
looking after us and we would actually spend all of the holidays actually all of the holidays just us just the three of us uh, my parents would call us constantly to check us out how are you doing how we're holding up are you guys okay but we were holding back the tears that you know my parents would you know suffer both inside and out so i didn't want to hurt them so i just you know told them lies uh, we were fine we're doing okay but actually we are we were dying inside because on all of my our birthdays precious birthdays about 11 years we were would you know just sit three of us no cakes no happy birthday songs no friends oh. when i was a little boy uh, my parents would occasionally argue a lot you know fight a lot when they got back from korea they you know immediately filed for a divorce and it was hard for me. I was, you know, think to myself that maybe it was kind of my fault. To tell you the truth, I was bullied a lot, constantly, you know. Because of my behavior, maybe attitude, I don't know. I was very shy, nervous, loner kid. Shy and a loner? You seem so confident and outgoing. What was that turning point for you? And as soon as I graduated, um, when I got into National University of Mongolia, I, my classmates, fellow classmates, helped me a lot to, you know, overcome myself, to break my point, to break the limit. And I just found my true self, my inner self, just from there. Not only did he have to take care of his little sister while their parents were away in Korea for more than a decade, but he also went oh, through the experience the of being bullied, better. all while witnessing his parents' divorce. How did these experiences shape who he is today? Keep watching to find out. Let's continue with our tour of his home. Uh, I'm not a very organized person. Uh, this is the books that I've read. and Most of the books are missing right now because I gave it up. And I'm, as you can see, I'm very, very, you know, green thumb person. I love plants. I love taking care after them. I love it. And they are everywhere, as you can see. And please, cameraman, don't do any close-ups. I have a very huge pimples on my face right now. If I was, if it wasn't for, you know, that my parents left us behind maybe we wouldn't even become this closer you know she's really you know important to my life and plays important roles in my life too and I love her dearly but at the same time I hate the most she's so ugh, irritating okay now let's go check out your sister <sighs> that, that little brat Hey, blue hair. <laughs> uh, she's my slave. This is Batgira's sister, Giril Tuslung, also known as Huslung. She's 17 years old and is studying to become a lawyer. However, she's currently on a summer break. Oh, oh, yes, yes, oh. Do a hair flip one more time. Yes. Tell us about some of the memories you two have made together. No, Basa, I would try no hollister. You need him to come to church. You're going to be a job with some sort of hour. I'm going to be a job with some sort of hour. You're Bedrock Hilton, Aber Bur, Aber Bur, Big Bur, Aigo Tom, Lucy Bur, Aber Bart Hilton, Tom Bur, Jimmy Bur. The beer that you go to the hotel, you go to the hotel. See, Aber Hotim, be hot. Who 
юм ингээд цохил мохоод ингээд уурлаж муурлаад ингээд ямгуу юм юм хийлэнгүүд ингээд уурлаад муу хаарсан суу гац. Тэнгүүд чи дуугараас муурлаж гэх мөр. Ингээд сохаасан. Нүлэсэн бүр цэлэгнэ бүр амар уулаацсан тэгээд хэцүү юм за гэж асуусан. Энд хэцүү юм. What would you like to say to your sister? Миний хамгийн тийм сайн найз зөвлөгөө эхлээд юм ингээд асуухаар бол хамгийн түрүүнд төслөөс асуудаг дүүгээс. Тэгээд юм болохгүй байгаа бол хамгийн түрүүнд дүүдэг хэлдэг. Би дүүгээс юу ч нууж хаадгүй бүх юм аа гэдэг тийм. Найзын нөхөрлөл гэдэг бол трансакшнал төр зүрэх байдаг. Гэтэл хоёулаа ингээд цусан төрлөөрөө холбох хэцсэн тийм хүн хөтлөх хоёулаа авсан ортлол бид хоёр дүү гэдэг нь тийм үнэн байх гэж нэг дүү гэдэг нь байна. Багасаа л хам би бит хоёроос өөр хүн байгаагүй шүү дээ яг үнэн хэлэхэд бүгд л хоёул аад үзэгдэж хүмүүс ингээд үнийг доорлож исэн. Тэгээ яг тухайн цаг үед гэхээр бит хоёроос өөр хүн байгаагүй болохоор дүмэл хайна да тэгэл ирээдүйц тэр хөөхтлэл хавтлаа. Тэгээ энэ англиар сайрч байгаа юм ялаа чи. Оо би л одоо заалаа. Та ч би мартцээ. <laughs> and what would you like to say to your brother? You're not a witch, the hunt on Grusum, which is <laughs> Luno. I have some sort of a way on the apple, a ditch on the age last. It's all the same. Timmy? There's a lot of this. Me, Pimmy, he joined a touch so many angles, he does or he took the guy. Тэгээд юм бүхэл юм их баярлалтай штэ. Модлцсан ч гэсэн still love you. Баярлалаа. Би ч чамд хайртай. Гэд ахгүй та тодлоод хайртай штэ. Ард нэм сайдаад явчих. How do you guys usually spend your time? Oh, we would eat a lot. We would like devote for food, right? We would occasionally, you know, talk when we were eating. We would, you know, discuss what we were going to eat next. What do you want to eat today? Fried chicken. Oh, wow, she's so spoiled. I'm kind of feeling lazy today, so how about fried rice? And for the dessert, how about we make brownies? I guess we're making brownies. Yeah, um, okay, uh, I would just, you know, roam through the internet and surf through the internet and what recipe is the best, what is the not and the ingredients needs to be very affordable. Brownie recipe. Move. Yes. You sit there. Oh, who doesn't like chocolate, right? Oh, so good. Look at it. So beautiful. If I have to choose between my sister and chocolate, I would probably cho- choose chocolate. I-, I would go to some good love to chocolate. Right? <coughs> I'm going to buy a lot of chocolates. Okay, I think I'm going to stick with this recipe because the brownie looks so fudgy, so chocolatey and gooey. And who doesn't like chocolate? If you don't like chocolate, the door is right there. Hmm. Oh, I, I was just, you know, thinking about the how it w- could turn out really good and, you know, oh, so delicious. Okay. Wanna go out? Mm-hmm. Then go out. Dress up. Okay, let's go. Take it off, you know, though. It's a two-graph single. It's a two-graph single. Time is getting a little tighter and we have a driving lesson today uh, about five <laughs> <laughs> about uh, 10 minutes later after this so we have to hurry up and after that uh, on the way back home we need to buy some groceries to make some brownies yeah. uh, she will be turned into uh adult on this september so we're trying to you know take this driving test so we could get license 
at the same time. <laughs> but Gita's summer doesn't only revolve around him. He's responsible for taking care of his little sister and doing what he does best, cooking. Not only does he handle other household duties, but he and his sister are also using the summer break to get their driver's licenses. So our lesson has just ended and we uh, got in supermarket and got what we really wanted and now let's head back and make our brownies. Okay, let's start with Bhatkar's cooking show. Uh, uh, Jangum's theme song starts now. <laughs> When did you start baking? The baking started with when I was 11th grade. Uh, it was for my mother and sister. It's for the Women's Day. And I baked some cupcakes and saw the recipe on the internet and just followed the recipe and did it for them. I don't know if she remembers or not. How did you learn English? I learned English from cartoons, especially Nickelodeon, Walt Disney, or Cartoon Network. They, you know, talk in basic English level in order to make children understand them. So it was really easy. But until like sixth grade, I had no idea what English was. I didn't even know my letters. But Giris improved his English by watching his favorite cartoon. For many, learning a new skill through a topic of great personal interest can truly unlock learning. After all, people have different preferred learning methods. Have you found yours? What is your motto? I'm just looking for my bright future, not, you know, I just want to be stuck in the past. I just want to look forward. Yesterday is a history and tomorrow is a mystery. And today is a gift, that's why it's called present. And I just want to grow up, you know. Be confident with myself and positive and optimistic all the time. How have your past experiences you know, shaped who you are today? It helped me to grow up, it helped me to, you know, to be and discover my true self. Maybe I wasn't, maybe if I weren't for them, I wouldn't even be able to cook right now. I may be dead in the next morning or happily alive in the next day, but you know, just, I just want to, you know, fully experience the life that I'm having right now. I'm just, you know, happy with I'm just being here. What is your ultimate dream? If it works out, I really wanted to work in, you know, the field of very, you know, popular platform such as like Disneyland or you know Pixar Studio Ghibli would be great you know the movie Spirited the Way Howl's Moving Castle Ponyo so that's like that and I want to be an anima animator or you know character development developer you know what do you value the most 
my mom plays the most important plays most important part in my life. She sacrificed her youth, flesh, and everything to you know make us happy. She even did sell gums to you know financially support us. If I had a chance to you know uh, grab earth in my in my hand, I would give it to her. And what do you want to achieve in this lifetime? If I die, then I want to let something behind so that you know I could be written on history that I made something to save human lives. <laughs> Summertime doesn't look too bad for these two, does it? Do they even have time to get bored? If they're not busy cooking or eating, they're busy fighting. Just kidding. <gasps> oh my god, it turned out so good in this time. Uh, so this is it. This is the like daily routine of my daily life. And life is a very joyful and plenty of adventures. So I hope you guys to you know experience it in the future. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Shoo shoo. <laughs> Patkiril is a responsible big brother who would give the world to his mother if he had the chance and he would do anything for his beloved sister. Although he's had a difficult childhood, facing bullies, separation from his parents and a divorce, he appreciates his past for it shaped who he is today. He learned responsibility independence, and empathy, all because he had to play the role of a parent to his little sister. Also, it has made their sibling bond even stronger. By learning from the past, living in the gift of the present, and being excited about the mysterious future, Patgirit navigates his reality. How do you navigate yours? Brownie and turn are so good, don't you think? Eat it. Did you even taste it? Yeah, I'm sush this I did. I think this is the end of it, huh? <laughs>